search is about to start. So please like and share this video so more people can watch. Hey, church is getting ready to start. Like and share this video so more people can watch it with you. Hey, church is about to start. Are you ready? Hey guys, church is about to start. Hope you all are having a blessed day and um, I miss you all. We miss you all very much. Church is about to start. Like and share so all people can watch. Hey, Glad Tidings family. But, uh, we're doing good and, and we miss you all. We love you all. Hope everybody's being safe and staying home. Look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> Melissa was supposed to say, church is about to start. Church is about to start. Please like and share this video so others can enjoy our church service. We're having a blast looking at these videos. Love and miss you all. Bye. Hey, church is about to start. Like and share so more people can see it. Hi, everybody. Like and share. Hey everybody, church is about to start. Church is about to start. Please like and share. Church is about to start. Please share this video and like it. Church is about to start. Like and share so more people can watch. Hey guys, church is getting ready to start, so like and share so more people can watch. Hi everyone, like and share so other people can watch. Service is about to start. Please like and share this video so more people can see it. Church is about to start. Like and share this video so more people can watch. Church is about to start. Please like and share. Church is about to start. Please like and share so more people can watch. Good morning, everybody. Church is about ready to start. So like and share so your friends and family can watch with us. Church is about to start. Like and share so other people can see. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Glad Tidings. Church is about to start. So please like and share this video so more people can watch. Good morning, time for church. Don't forget to hit like and share so your friends and family can watch also. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? It's me. Church is about to start. So like it, share it, share it with your friends and be sure to watch it because this is something you definitely do not want to miss. Church is about to start. Like and share so more people go watch. Good morning everybody, church is about to start, so like and share this video so your friends and family can see it too. Shalom, church is getting ready to start. Like and share so more people can watch. Hey, good morning GT family, it's Pastor Brian and I want to wish you a happy Palm Sunday. So today, as we get ready to go into service and sing and celebrate Jesus today, it may not be our normal Palm Sunday, and we may not be in the sanctuary of glad tidings, but we're continuing to pray for you. We're continuing to pray against that spirit of coronavirus and uh, that infirmity that's trying to attack uh, our world. And, and until we can meet again here at glad tidings, we're just uh, glad that we can come into your homes uh, via uh, computer, smartphone, tablet, uh, smart TV, however we we can uh, get to you today. We're glad that we can. And so this morning, as we enter into praise and worship, I want you to gather the family around, and uh, we want you to worship the Lord with us. And uh, as I open up the Bible and preach this morning, I want you to open up your Bible or Bible app and preach along with me, or as we, uh, or as we go into the GT Kids portion where they're going to be singing and dancing and having their own lesson, I want you to just uh, make sure that the kids are available and ready to dance and listen to Pastor Janae and Pastor Anthony. But we're going to open together in a word of prayer, and we're going to ask the Lord just to bless this Palm Sunday. 
Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you, Lord, for the Palm Sunday that you've given to us here in 2020. And God, even though we may not be together in the sanctuary of glad tidings, Lord, I thank you that we're going through right now and touching people. We're binding together in faith. We know, God, that you're able to do extraordinary things. And so, Lord, we're asking you today to minister into each family here today, God. We bind that spirit of infirmity, and Lord, we're asking for healing to be loosed, and we're thanking you for the favor of God being poured out upon us all, and we're going to give you praise today. Lord, with our palms uplifted towards you, we praise you, and we thank you for what you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, well, let's go now and uh, praise the Lord together. Deanne's going to come. She's going to lead you in a couple songs, and then I'm going to be right back and be preaching in just a moment. He's coming on the clouds. Kings and kingdoms will bow down. And every chain will break as broken hearts declare his praise. For who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is the Lion. He's the Lion of Judah. And he's roaring with power. And he's fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before. the sin of the world and his blood breaks the chains and every knee will bow before the lion and the bear oh every knee will bow before him so open up the gates make way before the king Praise is the highway to the 
As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell him that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, See, your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, a foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Well, good morning, GT family, and happy Palm Sunday to you. Uh, as we're coming into your homes today, uh, how you're watching us, maybe on smartphones, smart devices, tablets, or your smart TVs, however you're uh, participating in today's Palm Sunday, we welcome you, and we're so thankful that you've taken this time to join us in today's service. Today, uh, Today's message is about Jesus being the King of Glory. Today's message, we're going to talk about how Jesus Jesus is filled with victory and he is filled with life and so today even though we may still be in this Michigan shutdown and even though we may be sheltering at home for a while we understand that Jesus he's alive and he is all-powerful and he's not shut down today and he's not closed for business today but he is strong and mighty he is the King of Glory, and He is coming uh, to us today to remind us the power of Jesus filling our hearts today with joy and gladness that He is the King of Kings, that He is the Lord of Lords, and that He is the mighty miracle Jesus that we read about in the New Testament. He's still that same Jesus that moves mountains and destroys strongholds today. So as we're getting ready to uh, share and open the Word of God, grab your Bibles, open your Bible apps, uh, read along with me, and uh, let's uh, read together uh, from the book of Psalm chapter 24. Psalm chapter 24 says this, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and lift up your heads, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Verse 8, Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. So lift up your heads, O ye gates, and even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? He is the Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Selah. Let's pray together today. Father, I thank you for this word. And Lord, I thank you for these that are participating in this Palm Sunday service today. Father, where they are this morning, I pray that you will go to them, that, Lord, just open up. Lord, give us ears to hear what you have to share to us today. And, God, I pray that you would minister by your strength and might. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thank you for being part of today's service. And uh, as we continue through these weeks, uh, however many more weeks we may be doing this, uh, just stay connected and stay up uh, with us. And uh, if you have needs, uh, let us know about them. And, uh, you know, comment prayer requests uh, as we're going along. And we're praying for you. as uh, And we're taking these requests. We're writing them down. We're sharing them. Wednesday nights at 6 o'clock, we're uh, meeting, having pastor talk on facebook live stream and youtube and um on our website so uh, we're meeting we're praying we're talking and we want you to be a part of it so uh common uh prayer requests uh, throughout this message today we're going to be praying for you uh, come along and uh 
preach along with me. We've got palms to give the Lord praise today. Give the Lord praise for His goodness because His goodness uh, endures forever today. And so we may not have the palm branches to wave around. I love palm branches on Palm Sunday, but we may not have those today, but we do have our own palms that we can lift up a praise to God and shout to Jesus today and say, thank you, Lord, for being my deliverer and my King of glory that's come to save us today. Because on this Palm Sunday uh, that we read about in the New Testament, that day, uh, the week prior to Jesus' crucifixion, death, and resurrection, uh, it's Palm Sunday. And why do we call it Palm Sunday? Because as Jesus rides into town, he rides into town, and people are waving branches, and people are laying their cloaks in the road, and they're cheering, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They see Jesus as their Savior and their Deliverer. And these people that see Jesus as their Savior and Deliverer, they only are thanking in the natural. Jesus has come to save us. He's going to overthrow the Roman guard. He's going to institute his kingdom on earth. But what Jesus had to share was that his kingdom is not of this world. What he wants to share with us today is that uh, just uh, just like as we're coming through, wherever I can't see you, I can't see where you're at, but you're participating with us. But the Holy Spirit, Jesus is everywhere. He's omnipresent. That means that he is strong and mighty to be with you in your home today, just like he's with me right here in church this morning. And as we're celebrating together on this Palm Sunday, we need to be mindful that his power and his presence uh, is everywhere everywhere all the time and that he is the king of glory and just as they celebrated him on that first day we're celebrating him today because he is the king of kings and the lord of lords think about the joy and the gladness that was in these people hearts uh, as they celebrated uh, Jesus. They were throwing their cloaks on the ground. They were throwing branches on the ground, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But these same people, as they were shouting on this Sunday, on Friday we're going to see that it's that long road down to the crucifixion. And on Friday night uh, at 6 o'clock, we're going to take communion together because we're going to celebrate that Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords. Even on the cross, as they put that crown of thorns on his head, we remember, yes, Jesus is my King. Jesus is my Savior. But today, it's a day of celebrating. It's a day of rejoicing. Today is a day to remind us that, that He is the King who is reigning and ruling. He is the King, uh, even though we see that there may be things going on around us that uh, we're concerned about and we're saying, Lord, uh, what's going on with this? The Lord's telling us, uh, remind yourself that in the middle of trouble, the Lord preserves us. Only the King of glory can do that. Only the King of kings can keep us whose mind is stayed on Him. And so we need some peace on this Palm Sunday. Let the mind that was in Christ Jesus be in you. That He came down to earth to be our salvation, but He rose triumphant to be our eternal King. And so our mission is still the same. Our hope is in Jesus this morning. And as the King of glory is filling us with hope today, being mindful this morning that we, we don't forget about Jesus during this time. Just because we're distancing and shutting down and doing different things throughout the city, it doesn't mean the church is shut down. It doesn't mean Jesus is shut down. It means that we have to be mindful that even though people may try to push it out of their minds, people want to put Jesus out of their sight. They don't think church and Jesus is essential in our uh, communities and in our areas these days. Don't, don't be like that, but rather uh, embrace Jesus and say, Lord, you are everything to me. See, people don't have time for Jesus. They're, they're too, they're too uh, concerned about dealing with things that are going on right now. But what Jesus is trying to get our attention by saying is just stop and look to me and realize that I'm the king. You know, life, uh, we, we are definitely concerned about preserving life. And we're praying for life. And we're thankful for every breakthrough that's coming and for every recovery that is happening. We're thankful for that. Jesus also reminds us is just as much as we tried to preserve our life 
in the natural. We have to be concerned about our eternal life. Where are we going once we leave this world? Well, if we put our faith in Jesus, the King of glory, he understand, we understand that we have a home in heaven then. Jesus told his disciples before he took this road in, he says, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. In my Father's house there's many mansions. And I'm going to go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where he is, there we can be also. That's the hope that we cling to this Palm Sunday. It's the hope that we're believing in this Palm Sunday. The Palm Sunday that just as we've seen Jesus riding in as King of Kings on that, on that donkey that had never been ridden before, just as we see that happening, and just as we're celebrating, just as people laying palms and branches and cloaks in the road, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. He is our Savior. Save us now. That's the translation of that, save us now. You know, we're praying for the Lord to save us now out of this virus and out of this uh, shutdown. But we're also praying, Lord, save us now. Deliver us out of this world. You know, this world's not our home. We're just passing through. We're just, we're just strangers. We're aliens in this world, but we're looking for a city whose author maker is God. Jesus said, I've gone to prepare a place for you. That's the hope that we have inside of us today. So on this Palm Sunday, receive the King of glory in your life. Allow Him to fill you. Allow Him to touch you. Allow Him to minister to you. Uh, even though everybody's shutting everybody out, open your heart to Jesus today and allow Him to fill you because He wants to touch you today. And don't believe for one minute that our inherent goodness is enough to make it to heaven. Don't believe that our personality is good enough to make it to heaven. Don't believe that for one second. The only way uh, that we can make it to heaven is by opening our hearts and receiving Jesus in. So open your hearts today and allow Him to touch you. Allow Him to minister to you. Allow Him to put peace in your heart and life today. See, every other system will crumble. Every other footing will, will be too flimsy. But we need Jesus as our Savior and Lord today. He is our only hope. He is my hope, and He is your hope too. <clears throat> There's something special about Jesus. There's something special about Jesus. He's unlike any other rabbi that's ever walked in this world. He's unlike any other teacher that's ever taught in this world. He's unlike any other leader that's ever led in this world. It's because Jesus is the Son of God. It's because Jesus left the glories of heaven to come to earth to be our salvation. So who is this King of glory? He's the Lord strong and mighty. So Jesus is our King today. He is our glory this morning. See, uh, Jesus, we find out when Jesus enters into Jerusalem, He tells two of His disciples, Go into this village in front of you, and where you're entering, you'll find a colt tied on which no one's ever yet sat. Untie it, loose it, bring it to me. And if anyone asks you, why are you untying it? You say, the Lord has need of it. So a colt that's never been sat on, and the Lord has need of him. So then on Friday, after the crucifixion, Joseph of Arimathea takes the body of Jesus and puts him in a tomb that he has, not his, but it's a borrowed tomb where no one has ever been laid. So a cult that's never been written, a tomb that no one's ever been laid on, there's some arrangements from the divine that's being made here, and what's happening is God setting apart divine preparations and using vessels that are going to prepare and, and uh, perform the manifestations of why Jesus has come uh, to be our Savior. And as we look at it on this Palm Sunday, I want you to think about this. Sunday and Friday and Resurrection Sunday are all parts of God's divine plan. He has a need of a cult <clears throat> that has never been sat on. There's a tomb that's never been laid in. And there's a borrowed tomb he's being laid in. And there's glory, a divine call, and a plan for our life through it all. 
And so when we look at this, we would see the fulfillment of Jesus going to the cross. The cross and the tomb are part of the plan, the heart of God's plan for me and for you. So who is this king of glory? He's the king who suffers and dies for you. So we're sinners and we need a savior. And when we come under the judgment of God and fall under the conviction of the spirit, we admit that we're a sinner and we need a savior. And Jesus is that savior. Today I want to ask you if you don't know Jesus as your savior, today's a great day to know him as your savior. We have on the links uh, below the message here, links for you to click to say, I've decided to follow Jesus. Today, if you pray a prayer with me at the end of this message, and you invite Jesus to be the Lord of your life, the King in your life, I want you to click that link and I want you to fill out that information so we can celebrate with you. Because one of the greatest joys that we can celebrate is when a sinner repents when somebody confesses Jesus as Lord in their life. It says the angels in heaven rejoice over one sinner saved, and there's rejoicing on the earth today. So there's rejoicing because our names are written in the book of life. Our eternal state is then changed from being destined to hell to being destined to glory in heaven. Our life is transformed, and it happens because we open our hearts and we let the King of Glory in. So Jesus walked into Jerusalem on the Sunday. He dies on the cross. We celebrate that on Friday. And up from the grave, He arises on the Sunday. See, when we look at this, we see that Jesus was an innocent person. No need for Him to suffer what He suffered. Pilate and Herod. The thief on the cross. They all saw that Jesus was an innocent person. But today we understand that Jesus who was sinless. He came into this world to take on the sin of the world. So that me and you could receive the forgiveness of sin. And have a relationship restored with our Heavenly Father. See we can't, we can't manufacture a verdict that says that you're not guilty. Because each of us, we're guilty. Each of us deserves what the judgment that's been passed because of sin in our life. But Jesus, who rides into Jerusalem, reminds us to be thankful. And Psalm tells us to think about it. Say law. Thank and consider what's just been said. He is the King of glory. Open up our hearts and let Him come in. See, we can't manufacture a not guilty verdict because me and you, we're guilty today. We've sinned, we've committed crimes against God, and we deserve judgment that's passed to us. Our sins are grievous to God, but in all that, Jesus says, I love you. John chapter 3 and verse 16, For God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever will believe on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus said, my father's working. He's never stopped working. I'm working. He's working. God's working today. Jesus is preparing mansions in heaven for believers today. He's gone to prepare a place for us. He's coming again. I pray you're ready today. I pray that as we think about and celebrate Palm Sunday and get ready for Easter in, during these days leading up to next week, I, I pray that we keep our hearts and our minds stayed on Jesus. Because the psalm says, The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, He is the King of glory. Who can deliver us from where we are today? Deliverance comes from Jesus. The Lord delivers us. So deliverance comes from the Lord. And that's why He sent His Son to deliver us when we couldn't deliver ourselves. Jesus is God and He's man. The God-man left heaven to earth to be our sacrifice. And in this day, today, we're saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Save us. Deliver us. Bring completion to us now. We open our hearts to Him. 
Would you bow your heads with me today and let's just pray. And maybe if you've already accepted Jesus as your Savior, I want you to pray along with me today because <clears throat> I want us to uh, reflect today on the power of Jesus and allow Him to work like only He can work. He can do things in our lives that only He can do. And He can bring to pass miracles that only He can do. Because we live in the natural right now. We live in this world. But it doesn't mean because we're in this world, God can't operate in this world. But He's going to operate through me and you. So let's pray together today, and let's believe God to do miracles. He's the King of glory. He's strong and mighty. He's riding into Jerusalem today. He's sitting on that colt, that donkey that's never been ridden on. People are shouting Hosanna. Let's do the same thing today. Let's say, Lord, I thank you today that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I thank you today for these that are participating with us online. I thank you today, Father, that as we celebrate Palm Sunday, that God, we remember that, Lord, you are the one who left heaven and came to earth to be our Savior. I thank you, Lord, today that you are mighty and you are powerful. And we pray this morning, Lord, that the spirit of joy and gladness well up within us, Lord. And we pray against that spirit of fear. And we pray against that spirit of iniquity. And we pray against that spirit of infirmity. We believe, Lord, that Jesus, you are the Son of God who brings healing. You heal our bodies. You touch our minds. You regenerate our spirits. You make us brand new when we confess you as Savior and Lord. And so I thank you today, Jesus, that you're working. Thank you, Lord, that miracles are happening. Thank you, Lord, that healings are taking place. Thank you, Lord, for miracles that you're performing. Thank you for the peace of God that passes understanding is touching us today. I thank you, Lord, on this Palm Sunday, we lift our hands to you and we say thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in this place. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, today as we close out this morning's service, uh, I want to remind you, if you've never accepted Jesus as your Savior, today pray this prayer. Lord, forgive me. I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. I accept you, Jesus, as my King in my life. Forgive me of my sins. I'll live for you all the days of my life. If you pray a prayer like that, Jesus comes in, he washes you clean. He gives you a brand new start. I want you to click that link on the screen there that says I've decided to follow Jesus and let me know if you prayed a prayer like that today. Well, God bless you. Thank you for being in service with us today. Be mindful Wednesday night, 6 o'clock. We have Pastor Talk Friday night at 6 o'clock. We have Holy Communion together to celebrate Good Friday. And then right back here next Sunday at 11 a.m., we're going to celebrate Easter. So God bless you all. You have a wonderful week. We're here for you. You need anything at all, we're available. Just call the church office. Call our extensions. We'll be able to take your calls, help you. Anything you need necessary that you can't get for yourself, we're available to help you today. So God bless you. We love you all. We're praying for you. Have a wonderful week. Peace, bring it all to peace. The storm surrounding me, let it break. At your name and still, cause the sea to still. The rage in me to still every way at your name, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. You silence fear, oh Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. Call these bones to live and cause these lungs to see once again. I will praise Jesus, Jesus.
Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, and your name is a light that the shadows can't deny. silence fear oh jesus jesus you make the darkness tremble jesus jesus and yours is the kingdom yours is the power yours is the glory forever amen yes yours is the kingdom and yours The shadows can't deny and your name cannot be overcome and your name is a light forever lifted high your name cannot be overcome oh Jesus Jesus you make the darkness tremble Jesus Jesus your silence Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear, oh Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. Hey guys, we have some announcements that are coming up this week. Uh, first of all, we want all of our GT family to send us selfie videos of them saying Happy Easter and send those to uh, Pastor Brian or Pastor Today or myself. We want to make sure that we get those in by Wednesday so that we can get everyone in the intro video uh, for next Sunday morning. Also, uh, Monday through Friday, GT Kids have just finished up God 101, but we're going to start a virtual egg hunt every day. You can view, view that around 12 o'clock noon. Uh, also, uh, for the youth, we will continue to have uh, our morning devotions Monday through Friday. Also, our daily challenges will be taking place and continuing with our uh, FaceTime on Tuesdays at 8 o'clock and Zoom uh, on Thursdays at 8 o'clock. Uh, Wednesday night, we'll continue to have a pastor talk at 6 p.m. 
Uh, you can view that on our website, YouTube, and on uh, Facebook as well. Uh, and then join us Friday night uh, with Pastor Brian as he has a Good Friday uh, communion service here for you. Um, you can get uh, some juice and some crackers at home and do that with Pastor Brian. So it's going to be a great uh, evening to do that as well. Yes. I have so many different things going on, even with us not being able to gather together in the church. But we have so many uh, activities and ways for all of us to stay connected. Yes. So that's really good. Um, at this time, we're going to ask that you guys would continue uh, worshiping the Lord. We've worshiped today. We've heard a great sermon, but it's uh, a time to give. And so I want you guys to think about the three ways that you can yes. give. One of them is you can mail a check to the church at 4475 South Linden Road in Flint, Michigan, 48507. That's one of the ways you can give. You can also text to give. So you're going to text the number below um, using the word give. You're going to text that to that number. And then a prompt is going to appear on the screen. And you're going to follow that prompt. And you can text to give your money um, today. Or you can go to the website, www.gtflint. Dot com and you can give that way. So there's three different ways for you to give. Remember that that's a very important part of worship and that God blesses cheerful givers. So we're super glad um, that you guys have been continuing in your giving and we appreciate you for that. Right now we are going to go to the GT Kids portion of the service and it's time for our GT Kids cast. So let's go there now. Are you ready for today's GT Kids? Big announcement. Every day this week, we're going to have a special virtual Easter egg hunt. Also, be checking your mail for a special surprise. So how do you like your eggs cooked? Scramble, that's good. And take a guess on how many eggs the average American eats in one year. Did you really? Three hundred. That's close. That's really close. It's two hundred and seventy-nine. It's a lot of eggs. <laughs> Do you think I can juggle these two eggs? chicken get home from work so quickly he used the expressway <laughs> who tells the best egg jokes committee hens <laughs> hello gt kids it's me pastor today have you been studying your verse from romans chapter 10 and verse 9 if you have say it with me if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Hey, GT Kids, it's me, Terry. Are you guys ready to play the game Guess, Guess What's in the Egg? Now listen. On the count of three, yell out what you guys think in the egg. One, two, three. Those are really good guesses. Now let's open the egg. It's a sticker, a hydroflask. Did any of you guys guess a hydroflask sticker? <laughs>
So I want to read to you a verse out of Matthew chapter 21 and verse 9. And it says, And the multitudes that went before and that followed, they were following Jesus, they cried saying, Hosanna. Can you say that? Hosanna. To the son of David, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Those people were worshiping Jesus as he entered into the city. And even though it happened over 2,000 years ago, we still read about their praises and celebrate how they were worshiping Jesus today. That's some powerful praise. I want to talk to you today about how important your praise is because God made you to worship him and praise you. I want you to look at this glass and I want you to think of all the worries that we have. Sometimes we get so, so overwhelmed by crazy things that are happening in our life, maybe with school or maybe with not seeing our friends or maybe with things with our parents or our siblings. And when we get worried, it makes our life get down, it makes us sink to the bottom. Do you see that egg, how it's in the bottom of this glass? Sometimes when bad things happen, it gets us down in life. 
But if we learn to praise God at all times in everything that's going on in our life, it makes a big difference. So I want you to look at this as your praise. Can you say praise with me? Praise. Every time we praise God, it makes a difference. When we shout to him, when we clap our hands, when we sing, when we rejoice, when we dance. I like to dance like David danced in the middle of the street. And the more that we dance and the more crazy praises we do, the more it changes our circumstances. And we can go from having a bad day and being down and out and sad and worried and frustrated into having a big change in our life, all because of the praises that we pour out to the Lord. If you look inside of here, there's something happening to that egg. That egg is coming to the very top. Can you see it? It's right there on the top. Can you see it? That's what happens in our lives when we pour out our praise before God. It causes our lives to rise above all of our troubles. Whatever problems you have, whatever troubles you have, we know that when we worship God, our lives rise above those things because worship is so important and it changes our lives when we worship Jesus. I want to read to you another verse in the Bible. It's in Psalms, and it talks about how we can praise, just like David praised the Lord. In Psalms chapter 47 and verse 6, it says, Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of of all the earth. Today, I want you to make sure that you are worshiping the King, the Savior, Jesus. Worship him and praise him, but not just today, all days at all times, when life is good and when life's not so good, because it will help you to rise above all those things. Let's pray together. Would you bow your heads and close your eyes and let's pray. Dear Jesus, I thank you that we can worship you for you are good and there's nobody else on earth that deserves our praises. We magnify you and glorify you and honor you for being our Lord, for being our creator and maker. You made us and created us to worship you and that's what we want to do. We ask these things in Jesus name. Amen. I am so proud of you guys for worshiping God with us today and keep on worshiping him every day. And we'll be back next Sunday. Bye, guys.